Yo, what is up guys? It is Matthew Maz Fishing, and I want to start this one off by saying welcome back to another freaking video. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the videos lately. I've been grinding pretty hard, posting once a week, trying to get as much content out there for you guys to enjoy. So currently I am packing up. Tomorrow morning I'm heading out to go steelhead fishing with my buddy Grant. Uh, as you guys saw in the last video, we struggled a little bit. It was a bit of a grind. So uh, yeah, we're going to pack up and I will see you guys. Okay guys, we have made it to the creek. I'm gonna be meeting Grant here. He's uh, currently just grabbing his stuff. He uh, forgot a thing or two, but uh, I'm gonna head down to the hole that I wanna fish and I will catch you guys on the GoPro. First fish of the day, guys. Number two. Scrappy little bugger. Oh, coming down apparently. Pardon? 
Yeah, it's a nice one. Come in, come on. There it is, guys, number two. Another nice hen. Dude, my float didn't even drop. <laughs> Literally, that was just at the end of my drift. <laughs> I got him right in the yip. Yeah, if you could. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice cromer. Uh-oh, he's wrapped up. He's wrapped heavy. Can you grab my net? Someone? Dude, that, like I literally didn't see a float drop at all. That was awesome, dude. I just literally, like at the end of my drift. Yeah, so we figured out, right? Yeah, at the end of my drift, I just set the hook. Woo! It's a nice little cromer. Well, guys, that's our third fish of the day. Got that one on a custom silver bullets bait model bead there. Absolutely beauty fish. I also had a row bag on too. I uh, didn't even see a float drop, literally. At the end of my drift, I just lightly set the hook and that fish was there. Put up a nice fight. It's a nice fresh fish. Taking good care to uh, make sure he's going back safe and sound. We're gonna take a couple of quick pictures and get him back. Okay guys, we uh, got this fish. Gonna get a nice revive on him and get a nice release. Make sure he's good to go. There he goes, he's starting to kick. And off he goes. Right back where he came from to live another day. Oh, boom. Quick little update for you. It's about five o'clock. We have been out here all day grinding. It uh, The bite died right down. Like, I mean, completely shut right off. We hooked quite a few fish in the morning. And other than that, it's it's been a grind throughout the day. Uh, but hopefully before dark, we can get just one more fish. I'm praying we can get one more. We're uh, gonna see what it takes. Take your time with it, let him pull, let him pull. Is he still on? Take your time. Oh, did he get off or you still? Nice, bro. Take your time and let him pull drag. Don't, like, horse him. Hooked up on his first fish ever on the pin. They caught a sucker earlier, but it does, does not count. Floats right there. Nice, buddy. Take your time with him. Take my time, buddy. Good. No need to rush. I'll get the net and I'll get him when he comes close. Yes, I am so stoked. He learned to cast on a center pin today. I actually taught him earlier. That is awesome. I'll get the net. Do not rush. I know you're probably hard as pounding, isn't it? Oh, it's going. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You got this. You can do it. Nice. It's a little buck, I think. Look at that rod bend. He is hooked up. I am so happy. He's been putting in time today working for this fish. There she is. Come here. Grab her. Once she gets close. I don't want to get tangled in your line. <laughs> She's hot. This fish is going. Let's get this fish in the net. Oh, it's a nice one, bro. It's 
coming. Oh, this fish has so much energy, dude. Just play her out. She's getting tired. There it is. She's starting to come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Terrible net job. Dude, yes! 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 I am so happy for you, dude. Yes! Love you, bro. Look at this fish, guys. His first one ever. It doesn't get much better than that. My heart is Dude, look at how pumping. the pink on it. Oh my god. Beautiful fish. There it is. How does that feel, oh, man? It feels amazing. I've been working my ass off for this moment. Look at how beautiful that fish is. That is Amazing. such a nice fish, man. Look at the pink. Oh my God. I am so happy that you Couldn't landed that fish. Couldn't have done it without you, Matt. You're the man. That's sick, bro. Thanks for guiding me today. Look at that, guys. What a beautiful fish. His first one ever. Stoked I was able to help him out and get on it. Make sure it's a nice release here for us. Let's see this fish kick off. You can put her in the water and she's... Heck yeah, buddy. So I want to provide a little bit of a backstory for you guys. So in the previous video I posted towards the end, there's a clip of me losing a fish. And so when I lose that fish, you'll see there's a couple of people on the bank I'm fishing with. And one of them is actually Dylan. Uh, and Dylan is the guy who just caught the fish in this video. So I met him the week before. We weren't friends or anything like that. And I saw him on the creek this day. And the last time I saw him, he had like a six foot rod and a spinning reel. And he was telling me that, yeah, he's been out like, I think he said probably five or six, maybe a couple more times. And he hasn't had any luck. So we were just talking. We were saying like, yeah, like you should get a pin, stuff like that. And then I see him in this video. And he came to the creek and he got himself a center pin and a proper float rod, which is absolutely awesome. He actually said he watched uh, my how to float fish video, which was pretty cool too. And so he was basically learning how to use the pin that day. The fishing was really good in the morning, but it died right down. So I was really just trying to teach him how to cast and most of the day was kind of oriented towards kind of just helping him learn how to float fish. So towards the end of the day, super slow. We didn't really have too many expectations. And then next thing you know, he's hooked up on this fish. <laughs> so he had no idea how to fight it or anything like that. So I was trying to guide him through it as best I could the whole way. And it was absolutely freaking awesome to see him land his first steelhead ever. This guy worked so hard. He was so deserving. He was smiling like a kid in a candy store. It was absolutely amazing, guys. And I'm so happy that I was able to witness it. Dylan, I know you're probably watching this. Congratulations, super stoked you got on that fish. Hopefully there's a lot more of those in your future, buddy. That there is really what fishing is all about to me. I get so much satisfaction over helping other people catch fish and really teaching you guys how to catch and giving you guys any little tips and tricks that might help you uh, just catch more fish and maximize your time on the water. So that's gonna just about wrap it up for this one, guys. That was one of the most fulfilling and fun days of steelhead fishing I've had in a long time. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out my new brand, Silver Bullet Baits, if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like, on the video it goes a long way really supports me and helps me make more content for you guys as always have a great day guys and peace